Yeah, yeah, I like Odisha food. Uh, for example, yes. focalo. Yes. I, I really like focalo. Okay. It's it's a very nice it's a very nice dish in Odisha, okay. and I think most of the people, especially international students who actually comes here, will really really like it. So this is a very special food for everyone. And I think whoever that have not tested that, you really have to give it a try and see how good it is. He is a foreigner, but he loves Odisha very much. He does not know Hindi or Odia language, but trying to sing. He is South Sudan boy, Mr. Yop. Let's welcome him. Mr. Yop, welcome to our new channel, Mobile News 24-7. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for hosting me. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to okay. have you with me today. Uh, Mr. Wood, how are you? I am good. I'm doing well. And I feel at home here. Uh, Mr. Wood, what are you doing? I'm actually here as a student. I'm doing my Bachelor of Technology in Triple IT. Uh, Triple IT is International Institute of Information Technology, Bhuvaneshwar. Okay. So I'm here as a student. Uh, how many and you are staying in Odisha? I uh, have been here for the last three years. And yeah, this is the time I was spent in Odisha. Okay. Yeah. When Indian students are going to outside like your South Sudan for high studies, but you choose India, that to Odisha, why? Um, well, I choose Odisha and especially India because India is the half of international students. Many international students are actually coming to India because uh, there is a high investment in education in India and this has attracted a lot of students actually to come to India. And this has been like a master plan in whatever that we are doing and whatever that I'm doing particularly. I need to come to a place where I feel like, yeah, this is actually the best place for me to study. And that's why I choose to come to India. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Mr. Yud, are you, do you think uh, Odisha is the best place for study or research? Uh, yeah, I believe Odisha is the best place for studies and research because you need to be in an environment where you feel more comfortable to study. You need to be in an environment where you find fees, whatever you are doing. Because if you are in an environment where you don't find fees, an environment where you don't feel more comfortable, I think it will not be easy for you to do whatever you are doing. But Odisha has been so peaceful. It's a very nice place, so welcoming. Everyone here is so hospitable. So that's why here is actually the best place for research and studies. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your dream? Uh, well, I actually have a very huge dream. I need to really be successful in whatever I'm doing. I need to actually improve a lot in so many things, and I need to have a better career. That's my plan, and that's my dream. And after that, maybe I will plan on doing something great for my people and for everyone around. Okay, that's good. Yeah. If you got a uh, job opportunity in Odisha, can you accept it? Yeah, I, I can accept the, the job in Odisha. But, you know, sometimes you need to really find the value of whatever you are doing. If the job is something that is just for maintenance, I, I think I may not go for it. But if it's a good job that I feel like, yeah, it can really help me and it can help other people, I will definitely go for that. Okay. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. Mr. Yup, uh, you are from South Sudan. But do you like Odisha food? Yeah, yeah, I like Odisha food. Uh, for example, yes. focalo. Yes. I, I really like focalo. Okay. It's it's a very nice it's a very nice dish in Odisha, okay. and I think most of the people, especially international students who actually comes here, will really really like it. So this is a very special food for everyone. And I think whoever that have not tested that, you really have to give it a try and see how good it is. Yeah. Uh, have you ever cooked uh, with any festivals of Odisha? Yeah, I remember participating in one of the festivals. Uh, one is the Holi. Okay. Uh, in, in the college we have uh, Holi, we have Puja, we have other festivals. But I remember the festival of light, uh, something like uh, Puja, uh, something like that, yeah. yeah. And Holi, the, the, the festival of colors. So I have participated in some of them, and I actually enjoy all of them. I still have like good memories of that. Okay. Yeah. What is your opinion about our Odisha, Odisha tourism, and Odia people, Odia language also? Um, yeah, I actually have a, a very nice perspective about Odisha, the tourism, and actually the people. 
Uh, first of all, you need to be an, in an environment where you feel like everyone is actually welcoming. And the people of Odisha are so welcoming. I have been to different places. The only tourism place, I have been to Kandagiri. And every time I go to such places, you know, I find it so nice that I always want to see these places. Yeah, so I really believe, like, I have a very good perspective about Odisha and the tourism places. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you sing a Odia song for us? Unfortunately, I can't actually remember. Okay. I can't actually remember, but... Uh, just a line. Just a line. I really can't remember, but I wish I could, but... Okay. Okay. Yeah, I wish I could, but... I really can't remember like what I can actually sing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have any Odia girlfriend? Uh, currently, I don't have a girlfriend in Odisha, but I wish maybe I okay. could I could get one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If if, if <laughs> yeah if I have the opportunity, then I will go for it. Yeah. I need to also know, but uh, it's not like uh, the first priority in whatever I'm doing. But yeah, if I get a girlfriend or if I want to have a girlfriend, then maybe I will go. But at the moment, I don't have a girlfriend in Odisha. Okay. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Yopt, uh, you are now living in Odisha. But uh, how is the Odisha different from other states or other country? Uh, well, the first thing, just like I said before, you know, uh, you need to be in an environment where you feel like more comfortable in whatever you are doing. And you know, one thing uh, in Odisha is that it's so peaceful. That's what I can say. And it's so welcoming. Like, w you feel at home here. Like, you don't feel like you actually belong to somewhere different. Whenever you are here, you feel at home. And that's why I think Odisha is actually a very good place. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Yu, when you return to your home, uh, well, in your family or friend circle, uh, can you remember an uh, Odisha memory about our Odisha? Then how you describe them? Well, I will have like good memories of Odisha. I have lived here for the last three years and I think I will be here for another one year, most probably. And I think I have had more good memories of Odisha, especially the people. In my college also I have like some nice friends. I made some good friends and you know, when you have good friends, like it gives you good memories to always remember people. So I think I really have good memories of Odisha. And I think by the time I go back to my place, I'll really think a lot of good things, good people that I've left behind. And I think those are good memories to actually remember. Uh, I, I, I remember, you know, we had COVID-19 and the way people were so welcoming, the way they were so helping me in so many things, you know, these are good memories that you need to remember in your life. And I think I really have good memories of Odisha people and the environment that I'm living in. Okay, yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Rush, nice to talk with you. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you for You awesome. gave your uh, valuable time to us for before that. Uh, Again, thank you. Uh, okay. So viewers, now we discussed with South Sudan boy, Mr. Yud, who is sharing his memory about Odisha. This is Prabhat Raut with cameraman Pratap Bhuvaneshwar, Mobile News 24-7.